Hi you guys, it's my veggie Jasper, and today I'm going to be showing you all how to make a popsicle stick fencing for your classic briars. This is a classic briar, and this is how high the fencing is going to come up for a classic briar. About shoulder high. And then, um, if you want to make fencing for a traditional, this is Padre, then you're going to need fat popsicle sticks. They're wider and they're taller, so they would come up to his shoulder. Right now, these are only coming up to his belly, maybe, so that's why you only need fatter popsicle sticks. But what you're going to need is, um, I'd say, I don't know how long this is going to turn out to be, the fencing, but I'd say you're going to need about a handful of popsicle sticks. That's what I have here. And you're going to need some cardboard if you're working on carpet. Um, also, you are going to need a glue gun. It makes it so much easier and a lot faster. So here we go. The first thing, oh, and also what really helps is a stand for your glue gun. They just kind of rest there, and it will definitely help it not get over all over your carpet. <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to take four popsicle sticks, and we are going to dot one of them at the top. Fold this back. At the top, right here, and at the bottom. Okay. Oops. So, then we're going to stick this onto two popsicle sticks that are already laid out flat. So, we're going to have something like this. Okay. This is like super duty. It's sure bonder. Sure bonder. So, it's got to work really well. Because it's from my dad's shop. So, it must be pretty strong. Okay, so after you have this um, made, what you're going to want, sorry, I was stuck there, is um, to figure out where you want to put your bars. You could do one here in the middle and then another one at the bottom, but that would be a waste of popsicle sticks if you don't have that many. So I'm just going to use um, four for a whole thing. So two here and two here. Okay, so I'm going to dot yet another popsicle stick and place it in the middle. And make sure that this is straight because uh, I've watched a few videos on how to make popsicle stick fencing and this is basically going to be the basis. I mean, this is how your other things are going to look your other pieces of your fencing that you're going to attach to each other. So you can just pull off the little strings once the glue is cooled. Um, okay, so now you have this part. You're going to slide it off to the side. And you're going to take three popsicle sticks this time. And what you're going to do is, as we have been doing, carefully dot the top and bottom of your popsicle sticks. And press it to the back side so it's it's next to the top one but on the back side and then you're going to press another popsicle stick here so this is what you have giving you a moment to catch up okay so next what you're going to do is flip it over of course you know some people like to flip it over some don't but basically this is the easy way to explain it flip it over and glue the two popsicle sticks on the opposite side um, the same way you glued the first few so that's what you're gonna do there okay and then you're going to flip it over and keep on gluing. I will make it to the third piece and then I'm going to leave you to do the rest because you'll understand by then. Okay, this one is yucky. Try to pick straight popsicle sticks. 
If you buy them from the dollar store, they're probably going to be pretty crooked, most of them. I bought mine from the dollar store, and actually I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. They didn't turn out too bad. Only some of them are crooked, and some of them are stuck together. But other than that, they're great. So you can just find them in the craft, craft aisle at the dollar store. And you want to make sure that they're straight. They have to be straight. Um, ooh, this isn't working. I've got to add some more glue. Okay. So there we go. And again, you're doing this on the opposite side. So this is going to be on the same side as the very first one was. As you can probably tell from your screen. Um, basically, you continue to do that until you get the length that you want. Um, but make sure you keep everything really straight and neat because this is going to be your fencing, of course. And I haven't ever made this before, so it should stand up, but if it doesn't stand up, um, then I will definitely post that, um, below the video. I think it'll stand up once you add it to a fence. Let's see. Um, here's what I use for my corrals mainly. So let's just see if this works. This is not briar. But anyway, you would have your fence. Yep, it stands up. Wahoo. I don't know if you can see it. But it does stand up. Okay, I'm happy. So basically... That's what you're going to do to make your briar fencing, as shown. So this is how it's going to turn out, and this is how it's going to be for a classic. It is a fabulous size for a classic. They can still stick their heads over, and they can't really jump over it, you know. Um, yeah, so I'm quite happy with how this turned out. This was my first time making these, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And please rate, comment, and subscribe.